Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Wi Fucking Plays Tales and Tactics. This is an auto battler. Uh, it's got RPG elements, bit of a story to go with it. Um, but and I'll explain things as I go. I won't do the tutorial because it's a bit long winded. Um, and I can explain things as I go through the game. So let's do it. Let's go into a new run, shall we? Syngrim. Syngrim. Bold Pebble. We don't know what race she is. Race perks can be enabled by spending more mastery and unlock. I don't think you can do any of that yet. So it's just a demo. Start the run with our chosen character. Training Yard. Looks like we can't get training anyway. You awaken one morning to find a letter. Sealed with the mark of Daya. Every year, the Daya hosts a grand tournament, a ruthless competition from this, with civilians from all over the country, battling for the honor of challenging the Daya champions. Winning the grand tournament is the dream of every youth caller looking for fame or glory. With a gleam in your eyes and a thirst for adventure, you set off on your quest. What tale will the bards tell of your journey? Did you triumph over Daya? With clever planning and tactics, or will you feel the sting of defeat and hope for better luck next year? No. Well, now tell us yours. Your story. Hi, my name's Singram. Singram Bold Pebble. But everyone calls me Sing. I've been a student of the academy ever since I can remember. Graduated top of my class and went from being a student to a professor. Why did I want to enroll in the Grand Tournament? Well, I thought it might be a chance to do something different. It's one thing to read all about the wonders of the world, but it's something else to see them for yourself. I thought it would be a good way to meet new people, and maybe even someone special. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Combat tail. Goblin goofoon. Go goofballs. Let's hope it's not someone special in here. All right. We've got two goblinos. Feels like the, the resolution's a bit odd. Maybe that is... Like, these are all clear. Not sure. Alright, what do we got here? Um, so, we got all the... We got all the I guess I should explain how all things work. So you've got hearts up here, which is your lives. If you lose a round, you get, lose two hearts. I don't know why you lose two and not just one. Uh, if it's a boss battle, you lose four hearts. Um, you also get curses... Or, well, actually, hearts turn in, are used for curses. So, a curse has a 5% chance when you grab someone that's got a curse on them to lose one health heart. So, I guess that's how that comes into play. You've got level ups, which gives you cool passives and stuff, I think. And star points, which is just your currency. You don't get um, extra currency for keeping lots of currency. Um, I can't even remember what that's called, but um, it doesn't matter how much you have, you get... A certain amount from battles instead gold is spent at the merchant for extra rewards the vault is not unlocked yet look f it for in post game unlocks menu okay i don't know what that is and we got some potions that we can use as well okay let's grab some people drains an enemy dealing damage and healing itself dealing 200 damage and healing itself for 100 that sounds kind of cool Throws a devastating boomerang axe, which deals 200% of its attack damage to foes struck. It then returns, dealing the same amount of damage. 200% of 51. Okay, so about 100 damage twice. Okay. And when you grab people, you get set bonuses, as you can see down here. Uh, what do we got? Beast and Dweller. Let's try the Zuzu, because we've got two of them. We've got two gold here, but we can I think we can only put one person out. Yeah, this looks really, really bad quality. Overall, I think there's something weird going on with all this. Uh, that's the right resolution. Okay. I don't know what's going on. All right, uh, a dweller, another dweller. 
So these will stay here next turn, which is kind of cool. And you spend zero on your first roll to acquire new minions. So that's kind of different as well. You can also get items, which you can put on characters from shops and stuff. Yeah, I, I think it was better quality than this when I did the tutorial. All right, the bat is doing a good job here. Gaining life back. Nice. Mission one complete. Good, or else we would have just instantly died. Oh, and you only get one heart per victory. Okay. Here's a chest. Grab some stuff. Alright, I guess we'll grab this guy as well. Put him at the back somewhere. We can re roll for three. And we got another Zulu, so that's really cool. Straight away. Bam. Orc, that's this guy here. Maybe. I kind of like the beast idea. He's a magic guy, so he should be at the back, though. What's the life of this compared to this? He's probably better at the moment. Let's travel to the next area. We've got no more stars to spend at the moment. Alright, let's just go. Teleport in. Oh yeah, that's the boomerang. Oh, it goes kind of interesting direction as well. It doesn't just go back and forward. Alright, we've got a full four hearts. Two more star points. Oh, okay. We get pale hearts. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're extra two hearts on top of what we get. Uh, do we grab this guy? What does he do? Bulwur... Bulwark or Roars, healing for 50% of his maximum HP, impairing the next two incoming attacks, ignoring them. Seems pretty good. Alright, well, we need a tank, so let's get a tank up in front. So now we've got the Orc buff. When Orcs fall, first fall below 50%, each combat they rage, taking 40% less damage for 5 seconds. In addition, all your units deal 10% more damage for the rest of combat. That seems really strong. Dwellers. Oh, you need three at least. At the start of combat, dwellers channel for four seconds to summon Geogook. He gets 10% maximum HP and attack damage per dweller tier above one. So they don't do anything for the first few seconds. That's interesting. What do we got here? Another tank. There's so many different things going on. We could, uh, let's roll to see if we get some other stuff. Another dweller. We got two of these, so let's grab both of these. Don't think we can add anyone else just yet, no. Um dweller, dweller, dweller. Is he he's a tank as well? So we could get three dwellers. This will probably be a good time to see what it does. So they're gonna summon something for a few seconds. For four seconds, they summon Geogook. All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, boom. He just killed them on one hit. Look at this guy. I should have looked at him. Okay. Victory is ours. So we get some silver white hearts. Two more star points. Let's grab Sebastian. And then we'll re-roll. What have we got? An orc. Damage foes in the comb, reducing the healing for five seconds. Torque slams the ground at the enemy feet with his hammer, causing a rising tide of flames that deals 200 spell damage. Units hit have their healing reduced by 50% for 5 seconds. Okay. And he's a maid instead of a tank. <laughs> not sure if we grab him or not. We'll get another spot free. Maybe we'll grab the orc, because then he can take some damage to start with. Yeah, I'm sure this was better quality. 
when I uh, looked at it last time. Oh, so here's like kind of a map that we're going through as well. Adelon, legend. Okay. Uh, I think we'll wait. Uh, we could get three orcs. What does what does five orcs do? They now take ninety percent less damage for the duration. Or we could go beasts. Start a combat and when the enemy dies, your beasts go frenzy, gaining 33 30 attack speed for five seconds. So that would not be good for the dwellers, because they don't do anything for the first four seconds. So maybe that's better on Or else on level four they might just gain it automatically. Fifteen percent lifesteal is not bad. I don't know. Maybe we'll grab him. Let's do it. Go. All right, they're taking on our main dude there, but then we get our big boy. So that's where he parries the first few hits and heals a bit. Man, they got a bit decent damage though. I think we should be fine here though. Nice. Heart's full. Does it get anything? No. You don't get anything extra for gaining hearts when you don't need them. Lucky charm? What's lucky charm do? Road tail fount of potion. Font of potion. Stumble upon potion dispensing machine. Available rewards. Mystery consumable or unique perk. I'm just wondering if I can reset the game quickly and see if I can get these characters looking better. I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, that seems a little better. When you try and play with the settings, it stuffs up. So I just put it on reset to custom. And it seems to be a lot better now. There we go. They're not all pixelated. Cool, let's continue on. The sound of gurgling draws your attention to the small stand of various liquids. Several containers of colorful concoctions line a table, along with bottles and flasks of various shapes and sizes. A sign hanging from the dispensers reads, Take a drink to quench your thirst. Overindulge can be a curse. We can take a sample, then one extra potion slot. And then fire potion, drop on an enemy unit to remove its armor. It loses 2% of its max HP per second. Wow, okay. Incapac uh, incapac incapacitation potion. There we go. Drop this on an enemy unit to temporarily remove them from the combat for the first six seconds. Drop this in on an enemy unit to silence it for the tw first 20 seconds of combat. Whenever you purchase a cursed unit in the unit store, gain a fire potion. Or in combat rooms, gain a hex modification shrine in a random hex, which grants a unit plus one mana regeneration. Okay. So it's 10. It'd be uh, only a 10% increase. Mm, kind of cool idea. These seem pretty powerful. I don't know how often we're going to get potions, though. And then we get cursed if we do this, which is a 10% chance to lose a heart. Maybe we'll go with this Shrine of Blessing. It's not much, but it's something every turn. We probably should have tried out the potions, though. You feel the great power coming from the sign, a kind of power that you can harness. Performing an arcane ritual, you draw into the magical energies infused within the sign and cause the lights of the room to fade into nothing. Shrine Blessing 1. Okay. Combat Tail Unlucky Lass. She likes dragons. We're going to get a sword. Okay. So we can see what they've got up here, I think. Yeah, two dragons. All right. We can check out everyone's stuff. Gibbons. Alright, let's um so this is this extra shrine of mana. 
Now I know from the tutorial that the dragons send out a tornado in front of them that does a lot of damage. So we might not jump on there this turn. We'll just, um, we don't really even want to stand too close together, I don't think. We'll do that. Uh, we got seven points though. Here he is. Oh, we got three of them already. I guess we're bringing them in. Uh, who are we going to take out? The dwellers will lose one of their people. Unless we swap out the tank. I don't really want to do that. What, what do the tanks get? Ten, ten, 10 less damage from all sources while any tank lives. All allies gain plus two mana regen. Man. Do we just grab everyone and then work it all out? I think you can get your money back on anyone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That lets you f quite flexible to change as you go. Hey, we've got level two dude. This guy be pretty strong. But summoning this big dude is pretty cool. We'll leave him out for this one time and then we'll work it out as we go along. All right, let's go. Well, this guy's a tank, isn't he? We should be moving him in a bit faster. All right, there's our new dude. There's the flame things. Does a decent chunk of damage. What's, what's happened to this guy? There he goes. They're doing a decent chunk. Hopefully they'll start dying quickly now. Oh, the ice to me. Alright, one more guy left. Good, good stuff. Unlucky! Hearts are still full. Alright. Getting a bit of money. A sword. So that should be in here. Oh, we got this lucky charm. Drop this on an allied unit to gain a unit you don't have that matches one of its traits. Oh, that's cool. Uh, level up. Oh, this is from where we level up as well. Gain Bluk, a placeable totem with 600 HP that remains in combat to block attacks. Okay. Gain a one-star copy of the first enemy unit that dies each combat. Does not work on a boss combat. Gain the special equipment Quelch's Quill, which fires a mana-locking beam at the start of combat. Wow. Mana locking beam at the start of combat. Okay, so it stops them getting mana. Or we're getting a one-star copy of the first enemy unit that died each turn. Probably not too bad. There wouldn't be that many in the ranks now. 600 life. It's not, it's not that small. If we want to... Oh. Quelch's Quill, which fires a mana locking beam at the start of combat. It's tricky to know what to do. That could be really good on the boss, I guess. But if we get strong enough with the Necromancers, if we're lucky with a few kills. Let's go with... The Quill. So it gives you kind of an item. Okay, so let's do... Beast Dweller. Bug Dweller or an Orc. I guess we want the Orc Dweller. Or we could do the Tank Orc. Let's do this guy. There are no available units that don't already have. Okay. So that means we have all the Dwellers currently and all the Orc. Oh, we could use this on to get a Tier 2 unit. We might keep that for a little bit. Who does the most melee damage? Is this any damage? So if we get other things like this, we can merge them to make something new. I don't know who's doing the most damage. Probably this guy. Attack damage. Is that the same thing as spell damage? Should be. 
and then plus twenty percent health. Put it on that dude. Okay. All right, done for now. That was lucky that it didn't work in, in a way. Let's see if we get anything in here. Nothing. Um, regional tail, region tail, the golden serpent. Stop at a bar to rest some shady patrons. Consumables, unique unit. Unique equipment. Unique consumable and unique equipment. I'm going to go for this for sure. Wandering through the desert, you stumble upon a small tent, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Stepping inside, you find yourself in a large tavern. Wow. Somehow much bigger than the petite pavilion let on. You find yourself admiring a large statue of a snake when a voice grabs your attention. Welcome to the gold serpent. What takes your fancy? X2 experience and a potion. Increases a unit's attack speed and movement speed this combat. A legendary serpentess. Who doesn't have any type of perks. Uh, glares at the foe with the least HP. What is this thing? Uh, stunning for 3 seconds and dearly 200 damage. Allies with the target in range before prefer to attack them. If they die while stunned, gain 1 gold. Plus two armor and spell power per held gold up to 15. Whoa. So 30 armor would, would decrease damage by 30%. And what is this? Is this an item? This is a character that doesn't have any stats. Got a decent amount of damage though. That's weird, isn't it? Legend have a higher base stat and stronger skills than most units and cost one additional star point to buy, but do not contribute to most other traits. Legend state stat bonuses trait units. We gotta try the legendary unit. Maybe. There is something about that statue that draws you closer. Inset are two very large rubies for eyes which shimmer in the torchlight. Instinctively, you reach out to touch one of the gems, which must have been loose, as it falls right into your satchel. After several drinks and stories, you slip from the tavern and check your satchel. Pulling the gem from inside, you do. A golden serpent, much like the statue the gem came from, appears in front of you. Okay. But we can't put him in yet. Well, I guess we can. So it does 83 compared to 50. It's not bad to start with, but I guess it's not very good later on. Um, okay, we've got two different fights here. A tanky group. We gain 7, 1 experience, but less gold. Hmm... We didn't get that item that gave us stuff for gold. So maybe we'll grab the health potion. To grant it 10 armor and heals 10 per second. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We'll go here. Get rid of this. See if we can find something a bit better. Uh, what level does that do? He's already level 3. Bug and Beast. We're kind of set on what we've got here, haven't we? I think we'll save our money for here too, which I think is coming soon. Probably next. Alright, we've got a lot of stuff. Um, I have no idea what all these dudes do. Wooden replica of itself, foes, lightning wing. Alright, let's just go over here. Do something like that. Do we take this ele this main dude? We've got a tank, so maybe. This guy is taking a lot of the pain though. 
Players of the fire with the least HP stunning them for 3 seconds and dealing 200 spell damage. Allies with the target in range will prefer to attack them. If they die while stunned, they gain 1 gold. It's not a tank. We'll give it a, fit. We'll give it a go. This will keep our Kraken dude in the game. Alright, we'll do something like that. Let's go. Oh, his items. Should have taken his items off. That was stupid. Alright, when does he stun the guy? There it is. Bam. One gold. And now he's going to stun again. Our good guy's gone. This is a tough battle. How many things can he summon? What's going on? Oh god. We're gonna die. Stun him. Another gold. This guy's too strong with his stuff. Summons two of them? What, what tier is he? Ouch. Little tabletop technician destroyed us. We shouldn't have put that main dude in there. Should have taken the other skill instead. Would have been way better. Alright. Don't get sucked in with legendary units. Okay, goblin goblin. Nice. Uh, stone of summoning. Summon upon a stone that promises new allies. You note a small side path and follow it out of, the, of curiosity. At the end of the stone tablet surrounded it are footprints. Seemingly of many various types of creatures. The tablet bears a peculiar inscription. Speak softly now and find friend to call for more would bring offense. Whoa. So, politely request tier 2 unit Moria, Morita angrily demanded get a healer an elemental and a stalker drop this on a friendly non-legendary unit to summon three random units that share traits with it oh that's good oh, oh or we could do blessing two oh plus 20 percent maximum health as well i think we go with this do we get tier two still with this let's do the angry Oh, I didn't even check. Is that guy an orc? He's a freaking orc. Whoops. You shout at the tablet in the hopes of rallying a group. It immediately trembles and sparks fly. Moments later, smoke fades and you see three new potent potential recruits. Confused from being summoned, they eagerly join you. Hopefully, they will be worth the injury sustained from that blast. The inscription changes. A thousand voices, a piercing scream. Now that sound will haunt your dreams. Okay, we don't get tier 2 units. Maybe that was bad. Oh, here we go. Registrar, chat, and shop. Where you can spend gold and consume an equipment. A studious goblin looks up from the large... God, we, we're full up here. Did we not get all those units? Um, Who do we not want? We don't need a demon healer. Bouncing stars does sound kind of cool though. We don't have a demon at all. Leashes five attacks upon random enemies that deal 75% of his attack damage. There's so many different, uh, we could go these guys. A healer would be nice as well. So how, where's their tier level? I don't see anywhere that it says what tier they are. I know this guy's level 2, tier 2. And that guy's tier 2 as well. Hmm. They just shine a bit. But this guy's level tier 2. I'm confused. Or oh, they sell for 3 each. Shelly the turtle. Well, get rid of this guy then. Okay. 
Uh, name, race, and occupation, please. The tournament council is not responsible for injuries or burning, maiming, and decapitation. Decapitation. Petrification or poly transformation. Sign here. As you finish signing your name, a brilliant flash of lights blinds you for a moment. Upgrades two units store slots to now show rat uncommon units. Okay. On common units unlocked. Okay. Elementals. We could go elementals. When you can finally see, you find yourself standing in some sort of shop. A golem behind the counter looks familiar. Welcome to Mezzi's Magnificent Market. The finest, definitely not looted equipment around. We have everything you could need to take on the Daya. And good luck, judging by the looks of you, you're going to need it. Hey. Hey now. Oh, we could buy this and um, put it together. The wearer becomes an orc in addition to its other traits. That's cool. Wow, that's strong. Got so many things. Okay. I think we get rid of the legendary. You're gone, mate. Give me your stars. We've got 15 stars to spend. Okay, we've got lots of stuff. Shop, reroll, leave, 18 gold. Okay. We can't gain any more gold in any way. Um, so what does the sword and shield turn into? Where's my weapon? How do I open up your inventory? Sword and shield. 10 armor, 20% attack damage. The wearer can now crit. Plus 20% crit chance. Crit steal double damage and knock the enemy back one hex. Okay. And sealed scroll just does that. It doesn't add anything. We need five orcs. We've got three, that would do four. We just need one more to get the full orc buff. When orcs rage, which is only when they fall below 50%, so it's only once. They take 90% less damage. So they, they don't take any damage for five seconds. Is that as strong as something else? 100% maximum HP and minus 30 maximum mana. Okay. I think we take the shield. I don't think the orcs are as strong as we want them to be. Maybe we'll swap out orcs for someone else. So we'll take... This is a lot of spell power though. Like, let's double his attack. I really want that. And I'm going to take it. Because he does... Now he's doing... 30, 380 and healing for 200 instead. We need that on a tank though. Brawler. So what's this guy? Elemental Stalker. Engineer. We've got an engineer here. Gain a turret minion that attacks from a side the board with 30 attack damage. Starts with 5 ammo and gains 5 more whenever an engine any casts. Hmm. But then mushrooms. My goodness. This is it's a lot of units. Alright guys. I've cut a bit of this out. Because I was doing so much crap. That it was taking ages. So. Um, Pretty need to remove all the equipment items from it. Placing them back into your inventory. Can't you just take them out anyway? Or oh, can you not take them out when you put them in? I didn't even realise that. All right, anyway, let's um, go through what I've got. I've kind of swapped to elementals and demons at the moment. Um, so that's happened. So now I'm trying to work out what to do with them all. So I'm thinking demon and horror are the two that we're going for at the moment. So let's drop a rally horn on that dude. And we're going three people. Oh, and he just freaking leveled up. Okay. We've got demon engineer and a demon brawler. One of our elementals is a brawler. How do we know what level these guys are? There's no easy way to see if they're tier 2 unit. I guess you just try and sell them. So it's a tier 1 unit and a tier 1 unit. Okay. So that's cool. So we could see if there was another horror unit that we haven't got yet. By dropping this on him. There is no other available unit. Um... 
I think we'll wait for that lucky charm again then. So we've got everyone that we can out here at the moment. And we've got horror. And we've got demons. Okay. Let's try this out, shall we? Alright, alright, alright. There's so many things to, to do. Oh, we got a sealed scroll? Or is that already done? That's already done. So now we get to pick who we go for. Lightwing or Mickey, both dragons. We get the gloves or a shield. I think the shield would be better because we've already got that sword. We don't get any money though. We get more stars. Alright, let's do it. I don't know if we've got the best group here. He's got a tier 1 unit. Rhyme. Flash. No idea. No idea there. He's got two units that are leveled up. We've only got one. We've got someone that can gain a little bit extra mana. Maybe this guy. Then this guy will get big and elite. Or do we swap out the elemental at the moment? Do we have a scrapper or healer? We could get this guy instead. Uh, cast a spell of protection to the nearest non watered ally, healing them for 1% of their maximum HP per second. They instead heal for 200 and that's it. Okay. Because this guy's doing 60 at 800 health. Whereas this guy's doing 75 with 1,200 health. So maybe that would be better. Well, we've got this demon. No, we've already got the demons. So we'd be losing the horror. Which isn't great at the moment anyway. This would be a demon and a brawler. We could swap it out for this demon. Who's a level 2 now though. I feel like this guy's going to be good. Well, that, he's not a... He's not a brawler. Oh, I think he's not a scrapper. He's a brawler. Okay. These two are the brawlers. So maybe we just grab this guy at the moment and put him in. At least that's a dual... I wonder if that boosts his non-heals as well. I don't know if we've got enough damage now, though. We'll find out. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be bad or good. We're going to get all hit by the fire elemental there. He should be getting healed a bit. Oh, what a perfect time for them to stun. That destroyed me. I don't know how this guy's surviving so long. We're not killing this guy at all. He should be able to do his spell. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Can he get another spell off? Man, he's tanking them all. Get that magic, quick! There's too many spells going at him. Use it! Oh, the stun comes in every time. Jeez. That stun, just as we're about to do something, and then that stun, just as about to, he's about to eat and heal. Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, we can put that sword and board together though. Now he's got that new item. So that takes away his middle item maybe. Two of the Grand Tournament Champions. A Tale of Two Tales. Okay, unique unit, unique consumable health or money. Let's see what we get here. This dude, how many of those we got? Are we using him? It's this guy here. Tier 1 unit though. Horror unit and bug unit. We're getting all these guys we don't really want. Alright, let's have a look what this is. A booming laugh captures your attention. My fair young lady, you're joking. You approach a practice table with a gin. Kai Odinni is gesti uh, gesticulating grandly. The young lady 
They are speaking to the looks to be an old giantess clutching what appears to be a beautifully crafted tapestry. As you approach, her wide glowing eyes look your way. She points at you with a gnarled finger, then at her tapestry. Ah, here is someone who can puzzle out this plot. They beckon you over. My dear, River believes a visual story is best, but I feel that a verbal story is most efficient. Uh, it is finalized and formal in writing, don't you think? The Jin uh, conjures a thick tome into their arms and holds it out to you. Remember, whichever one you choose is legally binding. Uh, the tapestry. What is this? What is that? That's the Jin, and this is some demon lady. Let's choose the demon lady. That seems to fit. Oh, do we need to get rid of something here? We've got a demon engineer who's a level one. We do need five demons though and we actually have five demons here but how do we get five demons into the group because we don't have that many yet are we going away from elementals then apparently this guy's a level two as well though oh, it's so it's so difficult oh this guy's a level three We probably should be using that dude. But then we lose out on the demon thing, yeah? Um, I guess we get rid of this healer. I don't know if he's doing much. Okay, let's choose this. Kai Odini guffaws and sounds like thunder echoing from all directions as the book disappears in a puff of smoke. Well, you know what they say. Bad choice makes a good story. We shall see how your story unfolds when we next meet. They say this is not unkindly as they turn to leave. He's going to remember us. 